Okay, I'd like to welcome you to the Arts and Design Special Committee meeting of uh, Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. And I'll call the meeting to order, and we do have a quorum. Um, any one of us was not in attendance, and uh, Susan, who is back in Oregon. Um, okay, the first thing is the approval of the minutes. Uh, you have had uh, seen the minutes of April 27th. Are there any changes or corrections, uh, additions, deletions? Okay, seeing none, they will accept them as written. We will accept them as written. Okay, the first thing on the agenda is to add to our list of uh, club contacts and project ideas that um, you've come up with uh, thus far. So um, I'm wondering if there's any report back from anything from the art group, or is it as you've uh, listed? <coughs> Okay. Um, anything? Anything more? Photography? No. Okay. Um, okay. Weavers. Um, we're talking about wall hangings. They also had the possibility of some kind of community art where they put a number of weavings together. So that's the only additional thing. Um, anything more from the Patchers? No. Okay. No, no. Uh, nothing more from Rip and Sew. Uh, anything from Baskets no. or Basket Groups? No. Okay. Um, Judy, have you gotten a hold of the beaters? Or? Um, no, left messages. That okay. Both numbers. Okay, so that's still in progress. Anything more from Clay? Okay. Um, leather, Patty? No. Okay. Um, there was something from individual artists. Marilyn, you spoke with someone. You want to tell us? No, I talked to them. I Microphone? All right. <laughs> now we've got you. Patty, I spoke with, uh, or I emailed Diane Licotti, and she is most willing. So she said, I, I told her temporary or permanent. She said either one. Okay, so that's a, a group of individual artists that we want to make sure that we make connections with mm -hmm. uh, rather than just going through clubs. So we can add that onto the list. And she does mostly framed art. Um, yes. Uh, there are several other art groups that are not official Sun West Club members uh, or, or groups such as Contemporary Women and Vanguard and groups like that that may also at some point want to be involved. Great. That's good. We want to include, make sure we include them. Um, anything from the metal shop? Same. They will waiting. be oh. interested but need direction and waiting till fall. Okay. Um, stained glass? Not yet. Okay. Um, Silvercraft? Okay. don't want to take the, if we want to maybe take a few products and display them ourselves, but the liability would all be on up and they cost hundreds of dollars, so they really kind of just... No okay, interest. so that it doesn't quite fit in. No. Okay. Uh, woodworking? Uh, microphone. I got correspondence back from... Um, the wood shop, and I didn't know because there wasn't anything on the worksheets, um, any uh, club activity pertaining to the wood club until the last meeting when you wanted the dowels for the quilts. So um, I got correspondence back from them, and they said to just go into the club and ask for special projects, and a dentist would be more than willing to help out. Okay, who, who do we contact? Dennis, okay, at, at the wood shop. Okay. Anything from Desert Garden, Nancy? Yes, I got a, uh, was able to contact David, um, who's the president, before he took off to Wisconsin. And they're already in the process of doing something with that area that's on the corner of 
Beardsley and um, what is it, 135th or whatever. And so they're already propagating for plants and they're gonna start their project next fall. And within their membership, they're gonna form a committee to do that. So I, I don't know what else. What, okay, so they're already do. doing what we were thinking of mm -hmm. having them do. Great, okay, any other club contacts anybody had? Okay, all right, we'll add that onto, a, onto our list. Um, the next thing is, um, some of you were able to get to some of the large areas and brainstorm some ideas, and I started the, um, the list that we've got from here. Any other ideas for social hall? Um, we can, I don't know if you've had time to think about that, but I took the comments that I got from someone on this. Or anything for Palm Ridge? Yeah, I have something. Okay. The Palm Ridge Ballroom. I, I really like the colors that, that are in there. There's different hue, subtle col colors throughout the room. Okay. But I think what could be added is maybe like in the doorways, there's like four doorways that have, it's all white. They could possibly put an accent color in the doorways. Okay. Inside? What are you well, talking about? You know, like, see, there's the doorway, and then there's like, uh, it kind of protrudes out. It's not just flush with the wall, it, it protrudes out, mm -hmm. so they could put pop, maybe an accent color there. But otherwise, I think it, it looks really nice throughout the ballroom. Okay. Yeah, the ballroom. Oh, um, I thought I was talking about the fit, the fitness center. I was talking about the ballroom. Right, right, the ballroom, right. Yeah. Okay. Because that was a spot that we didn't comment on last time. We want to add that on to our comments. Um, anything else about the theater? Did anybody get in with ideas other than what's here? Uh, they Pam? have a couple blank walls before you enter the theater. I'm just something, you know, fun and dancing or something would be fun. On the outside? Um, as you walk in in the foyer. Okay. A silver sculpture, but on both sides there's like nothing. Okay. So we could maybe consider adding something. Okay, along with the notes that. No, we don't have the notes. Judy, you want to talk about? <laughs> I or do you want me to read what I? No. Typed up? Um, okay. So, may I say something? Sure. Go back to the social hall. I okay. just use the restrooms. I couldn't believe they're in bad shape. Okay, what would you suggest? Well, for one thing, are, is anything going to be done about the stalls, the toilet stalls? I mean, you can hardly turn around in there. <laughs> okay. Specifically, you mean the stalls are, are old? Is that they're, what you mean? They're tight. They're tight. They're okay. tight. I mean, you can hardly get in the door to close the door for privacy. Okay, so mm. the door leading into the um, um, the bathrooms uh, is sort of a makeshift type door. Okay. There's nothing really um, up to date in those bathrooms. Okay. I think they need an extensive remodeling. Okay, so outdated. Very outdated. Okay. They also have the lovely flowers. Yeah. 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 yeah, the flowers are like the last thing. I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, I would suggest that um, just as a director and future president that whoever's the lead chairperson for Properties Committee mm -hmm. that you Address that. take these minutes and share it with them? Yes, yes. That's the soonest it would get discussed. Uh, right, right. The Properties Committee, what he's saying is the Properties Committee is the place to take <coughs> that particular concern because you're looking at something that's more than just painting a wall or hanging a, a painting. And, you know, that's probably true of the room that we're sitting in. That um, It just needs some updating it's, uh, you know, from a different era. Okay. Okay. So then we were at the theater. Um, I was going to share with you um, the comments here. Um, new carpeting, I guess, is quite a ways down the road um, in the um, theater. It seems like it's in good shape. 
And then a question about the old box office and whether or not that needs to be um, removed now that they're not selling anything, you know, if they should do the, um, uh, the carpeting. And I think that's kind of a referral as well to the properties committee, you know, those, those things. Um, and at that time, I would assume, you know, when that, if that's two or three down the years down the road, that kind of thing is put on a cycle for replacement. So we'd have to look that up. Um, there are some kind of nice seats, but of course, you know, you'd probably update that at the same time. Um, new uh, wall art uh, would be nice um, because there are a lot of marquee cases advertising past events or coming events that are kind of um, the only decoration as you enter, and maybe that's not the best place for them. You might something more attractive might be better. Um, I even thought maybe they could do those the marquee things on the on the box office, seeing as that's not being used. That might be a, a better replacement thing. Um, and there is a theater uh, council um, that I assume takes care of that area because. It has a number of clubs that work within it. So we can, I guess, kind of pass our, our, our ideas on to them. But um, some of the, the faded flower pots have been kind of removed. And um, there is just one, one sculpture, I guess. And no, I'm thinking of the wrong room. Um, yeah, there, there really needs to be kind of something done with that for updating. Judy, any, anything else? You're the one that kind of gave me. Yeah, it, there needs to be more bench seating, I think, because people wait in the lobby mm -hmm. and some can't stand. I know there's a great deal in the outside, but it would be nice to get, get more bench seating and redo the, the ones that are there because they're like frayed mm -hmm. and, and uh, really tacky. So mm -hmm. that would be another suggestion. Okay. Okay, um, then uh, the lecture hall. Um, I guess these are my comments. I talked with um, a couple of the um, staff and uh, trying to understand which part cannot be changed. The, the darker gray cannot be changed because that's a special surface. So we would not consider painting that and it looks fine. Uh, you know, it just is kind of empty. So possibly a nice color on the front that area because that can be painted. And also, if we had a way to hang something from the ceiling, there could be things that would hang in front of that darker gray area on the sides, um, suspended from the ceiling. We just can't nail anything into the, into the wall. So anybody else have comments about the lecture? I just have a kind of an idea on hanging things from the ceiling. If you've been up to Wickenburg Museum lately, in their main entry, they have uh, rugs hanging oh. from the ceiling on dowels mm -hmm. and wires. Okay. And we could do the same thing with the Quilt and Weaving Club, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have an opportunity to go up there, uh, take photos of just how they did it. But it's high ceilings, and it's very impressive. It's okay. lovely to look okay. at. Interesting. Good place to get an idea. Okay, so then um, I don't know if these are formulated enough to add them on to Carl's list yet, but. Okay. Yeah, because these things would not have been on that list that you're dealing with. Once we get the yay for something, then the next step, you know, we're putting a little mini task That's force exactly together what to it is. Yeah. get it finalized and scheduled. Sure, so. sure. Okay. Um, okay, let's go on to the next um, area, art ideas for other areas. Um, we developed that initial packet, and from that, Carl moved to the listing that he had. Is there anything from other areas that you maybe didn't think about before that you wanted us to add on to any of the rec centers? I do. Okay. Um, on the original um, walkthrough at Beardsley patio, um, 
there was one thing that I, I didn't notice at the time, but um, we noticed like the, the archways and they have that like pedestal pillar that it's like outside right there. And then there's those standalone pillars that are just squares. But you're talking about the sun deck, right? No, no. I'm talking okay. about like the arts and crafts. That, arts and crafts that, that area, that okay. That, that outside patio area. Is. Yes. Um, there could be like a contrasting color. There's one out there, but it's, you probably can't see it, but similar to this where oh. they have a contrast there. And then the pillars could be the same as that contrast. Okay. Okay, I've so that, that I've seen that around here because it's a, a common thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think some of what's been done at at Coons has that kind of thing where it's yeah it it, it um, oh, adds a little contrast to it. So okay. Make sure I understand that. So it's the inside of the arch itself. Um, here, pass that down. I just want to make sure I got. It. And there's a stand alone, there's about eight pillars that surround that um, courtyard that, that are just, just square. So if they were um, contrasting colors, that would accent that area. Yeah, okay. Or if they were the same color as that square, probably. Mm hmm Right. Okay. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Architecturally, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else that somebody wants uh, to add on to the list? Judy? Uh, yes, um, I'd like to add the Kuntz pool. They, they have the arches there, and perhaps we could get um, Clay Club to do some um, ceramic tiles across the top to add some contrast to those the arches. There's about four areas there. Wouldn't be very difficult to do, I don't think. Um, also, you and I were talking about painting the one wall in the courtyard, the fountain courtyard. Mm -hmm. And um, one, of, one of the problems with, with placing um, the, the old courtyard at Coons, um, one of the problems with putting up um, fiber arts, uh, like a, a quilt or a weaving, is that you have to have a dynamic, deep colored background to really pop that out. And some of the places in the old courtyard have automatic, you know, like 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 a picture frame, and uh, if that background was colored uh, a deep color, mm -hmm. there might um, it, it might you really frame the art. Mm -hmm. So just a couple of small areas. Yeah, and then I see on the um, the full chart that you made that there were there were some nose at Kuntz for the mosaics on the side of the doors and. I'd like to give more information to whoever said no, because I think that they're thinking um, it said mural and it should be a mosaic instead, because I think they're thinking a mural would fade or whatever, you know, but if it was more of a, through the clay club, a mosaic motif, I think that might give more information to, to them. We'll, we'll talk about that when we yeah, get down. Yeah, de definitely okay. clarify that. Yeah, if okay. there's a mistake here, I'd be happy to fix oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. All right, great. And then I don't know, if, is this the time I can ask the question about the pictures or no? The paintings that were in the lot? No? Okay. All right. Um, that's, except oh, for moving yeah, that one, move on. uh, there was one other piece of metal structure that we'd like to just transfer over to another area. From one of the, the new courtyard outside Stardust to the outside entrance um, by the woodworking shop. I think let's be... talk about that when we get down okay. to your consist. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else to add on to original? Okay. Um, okay, next we're going to talk about community art projects um, and just develop a, a list. Have you... Anybody come up with an idea? I, I'll, I'll start. I keep envisioning um, these paper mache animals painted in wild colors and polka dots and flowers as a project for, uh, you know, you get, I don't know, six, ten people together and they create this animal and then you get another group of people to do that same thing and another neighborhood to do that, that same thing and then we put them in Beardsley Park for a couple of months and then they're gone. But the idea of people producing art together and um, creating
creating something and displaying it and not expecting it to be permanent or to last forever because you know, paper mache is not going to work that way. So that's one idea I had. Anybody have another idea? No, nope, we're not ready for this yet. <laughs> well, I have an idea. Um, I know a lot of some establishments that serve beer and wine, they, they have an art day, you know, where everybody gets a canvas and you drink wine and socialize and, and make some art. It's an idea. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sounds fun. Right. <laughs> and, involve, and it involves people that may not have done art before. Um, the um, art club has sponsored that kind of thing previously. I don't know yeah. if, if you just weren't able to do it this year or if you've dropped it or what. Well, and I think Pora took it over for a while. Um, Microphone. Oh, sorry. I think Pora took that over um, and was doing it last time, and we couldn't find an instructor that was interested in doing that right now. So, But we haven't asked for over a year because of... COVID. The way yeah. the year went, yeah. I know someone that's offering it here right Dude. now, yeah. In the art club or just? No, just freelancing it. Okay. She lives here in Sun City West, and uh, she does the, um, I think that's oil art, mm -hmm. where you, you get oh. a group of people, and each one does a similar type of right. painting or whatever, and she, she rents provides the room a model. out. And, yeah. yeah, so if you need a name and number, I can get it for okay. you. Mm -hmm. And if anybody frequents fuzzies outside of... Sun City Walls here, Sun City West Walls. Um, Fuzzies does a bar art night, and their mm -hmm. vendor that perf does that is reasonable. Okay. And uh, we've partaken, my wife and I and friends, and we've had a ball. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's a person that's creative with wood, and then like cricket lettering, oh, and they okay. provide you a kit, and, and in advance you pick mm -hmm. from probably 30 or 40 different options, and it's all ready when you show up, and it is a good time. Okay. It's a good idea. All right. Well, we got two ideas. We'll think beyond. Maybe this is a project for next year. Um, all I wanted to do was <clears throat> kind of get some ideas out there and get you starting to think about it. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's go on to the next um, um, item the uh, gathering place and the Lizard Lounge. Kat has some ideas of what we might paint onto the um, wall, on the, um, the cream-colored wall that's left. We've already gotten the green paint onto the bottom half of two, part, two sides, and a nice dark brown has gone around the other part. Um, so we were going to have a little paint party tomorrow. We have to make sure that that we can convince Barry, and I thought Barry was going to come today, but I, I don't see him here. <laughs> we have to convince him that it's not going to, you know, it's going to be okay. So, um, <laughs> so Kat, can you show us kind of what you were thinking? Okay, you got your microphone on. Go through the genesis of my thought process on this. Um, so first I went on to the web and uh, looked at clip art to get some images that might work, and then I colored them with as close as I could get. I realized I only moved in six months ago. My, most of my art supplies are still packed, so this is done with pastel, so it's not as clean or neat. It's very crude, but kind of just you can get conceptually. Uh, this was one of the designs. It's kind of very circular, though, so I wasn't really that happy with it. So I found this image, and then I, I did a tonal gradation using green and then to a very light limey green uh, with that. And then I thought about putting texture within uh, the design. Um, and this can be done just using those simple round sponge and using a dauber with maybe a 50% glaze solution put in the paint. And then I did all sorts of wild and crazy other sorts of things, just you know, kind of seeing what's out there. And ultimately, based on some emails that were going back and forth, I thought that, um, well, this was one of the designs for just placement within the wall, pretending those are TVs, not to scale at all, but just to give you a concept. This is 
using the whole wall as a canvas and doing it that way. And then refining it down to keeping it below the line of the television sets so that when people are walking by, basically what they would see would be just a blank upper wall. And then those who are playing the games and working with the television sets would kind of see what's going on. And then refining it further, and this is one of the ideas I talked with Sue about, is just using uh, gradations of the wall's tonal values and going maybe a shade or two darker than the beige and doing a very subtle sort of interpretation so that it's just kind of a tone on tone. You get the image of the lizard, but it's not in your face. It's, and this, of course, is not the color or whatever, but um, it would just be a very subtle, um, you know, you'd see the images, but they wouldn't, you know, smack you down or anything. Um, and I thought it might be a nice way to start out the whole concept of having murals in the community. If it's really subtle, really, really tastefully done. Um, and there's many ways to do the interior of this um, by putting designs or, or using texture. Um, so that's kind of where I was at at this point, is keeping it below the bottom of the television sets mm -hmm. and making it very subtle so that... Um, that area is where there's no furniture or anything blocking and so people who are playing with these television sets would, would be able to enjoy this part of it. And then as you're passing by along the walkway where the bowling alley is, basically what you'd see is just a wall of beige. So you wouldn't really be visually you know, interfering with anyone's vibe out there. Um, you'd keep it all kind of within the lizard lounge. And this is just a thought. I mean, you, uh, you know, it's possible to go much more wild and use all sorts of colors. But um, I thought it might be a nice entree to just keep it. Um, keep it a little subdued. Subdued and simple. Um, but there's a million ways. To, I mean, I did all sorts of different eyes. Um, so there's just, it just depends on how wild and bold you want to be, how Barry likes it, if he likes it at all. Um, I have a, I like it all over. Mm -hmm. Um, mainly because that wall is so large and is so large. mundane mm -hmm. that I think if they're crawling up over the screens, et mm -hmm. cetera, oh, yeah, like one. you had mm -hmm. in one of yours, that it would be really much more effective. And mm -hmm. since our budget is pretty low, <laughs> and, yeah. and we don't know how much other artwork we're going to be able to purchase. Mm -hmm. I just think to make that wall a real <coughs> focal point would be good. What do you well, think? Well, I like them crawling all over the place. <laughs> what about the color? You want in uh, your face or subtle? Well, you know, subtle might be good so it doesn't traumatize some people, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> But keep it in that greens and browns in a subtle mm -hmm. tone that we've got the other mm -hmm. walls painted in. Mm -hmm. But I think we should um, go a little bold in this mm -hmm. because you know that how bare and right. blah that wall is. But I think that's fantastic. I love your artwork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what about the rest of you? Can I? I uh, I like the tone on tone idea, but I also like the bold idea. Okay. And maybe it could be both could be incorporated. Mm -hmm. I was just passing around in case you want to look more closely at some of the ideas or something. I like this idea. Um, I really was taken by that when I first saw it, but in the subtle tones, so that mm -hmm. it's because I think as a wee, I'm not a wee bowler, I've never done it, but I think if you're trying to concentrate on a screen, mm -hmm. you don't need all those colors coming out at you. Um, and it is a nice entree to, to the idea of bold graphics, but we could repeat the lizard theme throughout and use mm -hmm. color maybe in other places. Mm -hmm. I see that as a t-shirt logo that we sell someday. Sweet. <laughs> oh, there so we go. All right. I'm sorry. I'm a business person. <laughs> OK. So anybody else want to weigh in on, on their reactions here? I like the total look for the the lizards are 
above the screens and below. So uh, kind of the one that's up there? If you think that maybe that might be interfering, um, I think your idea of um, a beige wall with just one color darker mm -hmm. than the beige mm -hmm. for the lizards on that wall and then take the wall, the green wall, um, which is a large space, and do your colored lizards and what else, whatever else you want to put on I there. Like him. <laughs> you know, concentrate that on the color and the bold. And mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so keep it kind of yeah. um, subdued <laughs> yeah. on the one side. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of the, you know, it's one thing for me to be able to draw those and use, you know, your different cross hatching techniques, but when you go to do a mural and you have many diverse personalities, it can look like it. You know, yeah. someone's painting this way, someone's painting that way, someone's. Yeah. So I tried to do something that would be really simple, easy to execute. We could all get in there and do it mm -hmm. and, um, you know, have success at it. And if there's any little, like, shading or complementary things, those who have experience could pick one lizard and then do their technique. And so it's consistent. Mm -hmm. That's consistent. Like, if I do one, it's consistent. But the general overall bold application of color could be done by all of us because it would be right. a simple painting technique. I, I like think that the artist should show us where she wants the colors painted mm -hmm. in easy strokes so we don't mess it up. <laughs> I like your texture idea, even if it's subtle, to have some texture going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's where even those little daubers, mm -hmm. you know, kind of right. a dry brush daub with using a glaze, you know, that would be, that's easy and easy to execute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think um, I'm hearing that the one up there is the, is the per first preference. Um, and so we'll have to have a conversation after this meeting with um, with Barry and see if we can. Are those him. hand drawn? Are those going to be hand drawn? Um, the idea was that Cat would yeah, we, would draw them, and then the painters would paint inside the lines. What what I do is I graph out the paper, and then we graph out the wall, and then we start doing the connecting lines, and then people can kind of help who have experience doing you know, line drawing so that we can get them, get them done and get them up. Mm -hmm. make big stencils too. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> we're hoping morning. to paint tomorrow morning at 9. Well, do so you think maybe the... We will have to get approval from, how about approval from the general manager? <laughs> Sitting behind Carl? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's only closed for three more days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. If we're going to get the painting done, we have to get the painting done before the place opens. Uh, so that's the concern. Okay, so we'll get an answer, and then I'll email out for those of you that we're going to paint as to whether or not... Yeah. Okay. Are we done? Um, I just want to say that that involves high work to do it up to the wall. How, how tall is that wall? I was going to bring that up, and, and I, I'm trying <laughs> to tread carefully here, but I will have to ask on whether it's the general manager or Russ and the general manager. About the height. On, yeah. Are you even allowed to get on ladders? So I will find yeah. that out. And, yeah. But first, I think we need to answer that it's going to move forward right. or not. Right. So. Yeah. So if we're not able to do the upper one, then we would probably have to go with the one underneath. Yeah, Katie, could you do you have that? No, I'm, I'm just saying that maybe we'll, if it gets approved that way, then we might just have to have assistance from a painter. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's a lower, that would be much easier and more quick to execute. Right. I didn't mean to interrupt you, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Right, that's what I'm, I'm questioning, if we can't 
The only thing I have about this one is you're going to have tables and chairs. Yeah, in the front. Are you going to be able uh, to see that? They won't be um, directly in front because it, it takes about eight, you know, eight to ten feet before uh -huh. the chairs are because if you're watching TV, let's say you're watching a game on one of those, you're not going to be sitting right up against the wall. That's why we were able to say that there isn't any furniture that's going to be up against that wall because yeah. you'll have chairs to watch the football game, or you will have the space, the eight foot that the wee bowler needs to stand there to do the bowling, and then they come back and sit, you know, the 10 feet behind. So nothing, there wouldn't be any furniture right up against it. So, so we'll be contacted I'll soon. send you an email this afternoon. Thank you. About a yes or a no. I guess Carolyn and I broke the rules. We used a ladder and crawled across the No, don't. <laughs> Judy, don't tell. <laughs> now, I, I do have a question, though. Um, we were in there to kind of place the beer signs to look halfway decent, and there was a right big a leak in the storage room. Oh, right. What was that? Carl, were you aware no? of that? Um, there was a, a huge leak in the back. In uh, the storage area of the lounge? Oh. oh, and it okay. clogged it and it backed up. Okay. Okay. All right. Then no structural <clears throat> problems. Okay. So more on uh, the Lizard Lounge this afternoon. Um, Pat, are you are you heading this up? Yes, she is. Okay. Should the artist be there? an hour or so before the painters come in? <laughs> um, you have a ball of string or something else and then you take painter's tape and you know stretch it and get your grid and so um, it's really I'd need some other people there. So you need those pe uh, other people in assistance with setting it up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can help you draw it on the wall. Okay, great. What about Patty? Well, I've got Sarah. She's got it. Yeah, she's got some. I'm. I was not even going to be able to attend. So I'm. There are things I can't get out of. So. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, so I, she won't be there at the beginning I'm part anyway. Um, well, I've got a list here. We've got um, the two Judys, Nancy, Candy, Patty with a question mark. Okay, you've just answered that. Um, I can be there for a while, and I can bring along my artistic sister. Uh, Joe Hoyer from the um, uh, bowling committee. And, and I'm adding my fiancé. Right, okay. He's so, coming to so there are two of you. And help. Okay. He can get up a ladder if he's allowed. Mm -hmm. So, so couple, okay, Carl. A couple, couple things. Um, first of all, just about the conversation of the room itself. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to, uh, since we're in public meetings, uh, the copyright for Lizard Acres Lounge is already taken, so we can't. We have to delete that from our conversation. We can't so call it the Lizard, Lizard Lounge. Lizard Acres Pub is acceptable. We we can't do Lizard Lounge. No no pub in it. Nope. Neither. Lizard. No, no, no lizard acre lounge. No lizard lounge is already okay. Already, copyrighted already taken or trademarked. So we ha we should use the lizard acres pub that was originally saved. Yes. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we've secured that. All right. Great. The others were already taken up. Okay. All right. Um, from a timing perspective, did we agree with a monotone? Is that what we were? The direction we're going. Effective. I thought, what was the word we used? Subtle. Oh. Right, but um, just in the in the so browns. Re, re, okay, so how about materials? Um, how would I secure? How are you going to secure? We were hoping you would have um, paint left over from the other projects. Okay. I yes. Look into that. Okay. Like if you have that wall paint that's on that wall. I do have that. I and believe. then some something to shade or tone it with you know um okay and the okay. starting time was what <laughs> nine tomorrow nine o'clock okay. 
Um, you'd have to work with Kat this afternoon getting the list of things together yeah, if we that know. That wouldn't happen today, but tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, okay. Yeah, yeah well, we're not going to be painting immediately, so. Um, and we have the paint. Would we want to go with the dark paint that we already used on the other walls, Kat, or is that too dark? That's too dark. Too dark, okay. How do you okay. stencil that on the walls? Do you need a projector, or are you doing it freehand, or? We're going to just create, does someone have a projector? I, I don't know. I'm not offering. I'm just asking if that's <laughs> what your concept is. Does the art here. club have one? No, we don't. Okay. I sold mine when I moved down here, but I had one that was perfect for that. Yeah, so that's what, kind of what I'm trying to draw from yeah. you is, okay. Yeah. Do we need to bring brushes, or will those be supplied? Do you have brushes? That... I'll put that on my list. Okay. <laughs> I sent him a list of what I right. need. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, he has a, a list of the things that we would need. Once I hear yay or nay approval from staff, then I'll take that list and sure. see what okay. I can do. All right. Um, a question about the tones. Uh, so if you have a dark color that you're already using in the room, can do you have white that it could just be lightened and, and change the tone? Mm -hmm. So then it's consistent with, with what you've already got in the room? Yeah, because that wall right now is pretty it's, light. It's a light cream. But I think it's the reverse. I think we'd probably take a drip of that chocolate. And darken mm -hmm. it. Maybe From the other work, wall, right? usually. Do you have the... I think the best thing is if we get this approved that we just run over to Dun Edwards real quick and get a gallon of five gallons or a gallon of paint. I don't think it's that much paint right. for the second tone. Mm -hmm. right, because the original tone is the is the wall. Yeah, yeah, mixing is too hard. And so, do you have the paint deck that the original tone is on? Because usually, if we just step down a couple tones mm -hmm. and order a gallon of that. Yep, I have that. Okay, can we? I mean, if you're available, can we look at that? Yeah, can... we can go to the office after. Okay. Okay, great. I'll leave that in your hands, Perfect. and then I'll notify the rest of you if okay. we're still on for tomorrow morning, and um, we'll. We'll see. Um, okay, let's go on to the Beardsley color boards. Um, Nancy, you want to talk about what we accomplished? I've got uh, I can pile the uh, microphone. Oh. I've got several um, color boards that I put together. Um, and like the first two are for the Beardsley uh, pool flooring. Okay. And so um, if you happen to look at page 23 in the worksheets, it shows in that area where they're going to be taking out the rug where they actually spliced a uh, continuation of that uh, swoosh design. Mm -hmm. The swirls. Okay. Yeah. Over there. okay. So, and they're, they're different colors. So, it, it, you oh, know, you he's got, know. there's a lot of different hues of the golds and the, the four oh, primary right colors in it. Okay. And then on, uh, I think it's on page 23, it shows the outline of that blue around the pool. It's about, it's like about a 12 foot border. And it's actually closer to this color. I didn't have the right card stock when we went a week ago. Mm -hmm. But anyways, there's a, an array of different blue shades here. And you had mentioned, like at the Kuntz Spa, you, that that turned out beautiful. Mm -hmm. But my question to you is on that terrazzo, because I thought I in earlier correspondence, I thought you were looking at some other kind of sheets or something to replace that terrazzo with. But you can paint over it. For I, I don't know that yet. So oh, I'm really, okay. it's a, amazing color boards. So that's wonderful. So that at least we'll have that in our toolbox. Um, or if the materials that are on the wall can be removed and a new material goes up, we at least still have a palette, color palette to work with. Um, so right now I'm having a very difficult time collecting information due to just the way the industry is working. So a lot of the suppliers for um, a man-made stone product to replace the man-made stone product that's there, the terrazzo, um, I'm not getting information back. So I am hoping that paint will work in that humidity environment on that surface. I'm certain it works on the walls that are block or, or you know, um, 
plaster, if you will, um, because it's painted. But that terrazzo does have a bit of a, a sheen or a finish. It's not sealed. Um, it wasn't sealed when we did our floors. And I know the floors are terrazzo and the walls are terrazzo. So I'm, I don't know if it was sealed you know, 20 years ago, and that's what I'm feeling. But um, because the budget's not approved 100%, I haven't put a vendor to tell me what, um, what they can offer us in product to make it work yet. So you're doing the work. This is fantastic. And we'll, we'll put the pieces together shortly. Oh, OK. So. I have a question. The swirls, are, you said they weren't sealed previously? No, the swirls on the floor are certainly sealed. They are sealed? Yeah, we did it a year ago when we put the new oh, pool in. Okay. And are they going to be resealed? Because they look a little drab. Yeah, that happened almost, but that's the way almost it is. immediately after we seal anything around here due to the high traffic and the chemicals and hard water. Um, Everything gets that drab look again. Oh, okay. yep. Nature of the beast here. Okay, so I think that um, you've done great work, and we hope to get uh, color palettes for all of the um, the rec centers as we're working along, right? Sure. Sure. Okay, and I did have a chance to speak to a couple of swimmers. And I, when I talked about the blue up the side, they said, ooh, good idea. So the, um, I was getting a little bit of approval <laughs> compared to when we started out. So <laughs> that was a good sign. And of course, this is going on not until next spring, summer. So we have time with this. But it's nice to have it planned ahead of time. Yeah, I think we'll have, we um, I think I'll work on solving the right materials for the right locations um, pretty much January. Sure. And then by the time we get to April, everybody's starting to leave. We'll plan the project for May. Sure. So. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay. So um, we'll continue with that process. Um, in talking about our art displays, um, if, we, if it's uh, connecting with the um, weavers or connecting with the art club, um, it. Um, I feel that we need to keep track of what we're doing. Um, and I think that we should be determining whether this, you know, what, you, what you've recommended is going to be a permanent piece of art or if it's going to be a rotating. And what kind of rotation is that going to be? Is it going to be changed every three months? Um, and what I'm getting at is there are lots of different ways. Or is it going to be a commissioned work where we're saying, OK, we want this spot filled in, and here's our color scheme, and we want this kind of a theme, and then people submit um, ideas, and then we choose you know, what might work there. So there are many different ways that we might be getting the art. And I think that we need to keep track of this, because I can see that we've got something put up, and then you know Judy got the quilts all set up, and then she moved away. And then we don't know, OK, is that a permanent place? <laughs> is, is that something that we're supposed to change? And who do I contact? And which club did this? And um, so it, it seems as, as this moves along that we're going to have to have a record keeping system so that we can keep track of, of um, uh, what happens when you know, the, the things, uh, things break down. Because clubs have different officers and you know there's all kinds of movement that goes on here so Carol. um director sue on that i think if we take this spreadsheet okay and um create columns that okay. represent the questions that you just brought up so um you know right now the when we get to this it simply says the rec center the location the arts and design survey um, description if we continue this process and just put a column for dates so that we this was let's just say discussed in 2021 okay. and then as we move along if there's a 2022 conversation we just put dates to these line items mm -hmm. and then the next thing is the yeses and the nos which can be you know mm -hmm. those columns can be adjusted um, the action required dates and then what you said if if a line item pertains to a piece of art 
we can add a column that says um, this is a timed piece of art or a permanent okay. piece of art, and then another column that simply, so if we sure. keep growing right. this spreadsheet, you it's will have this. It's all on one piece, yep. mm -hmm. all yep. in one location. Excellent idea. So, okay. Um, and again, I don't mind advancing the spreadsheet okay. and then handing it over to the director, every, the, the chairperson every year. Sure. And um, fill it out how Great. you will because yep. it, it can never be ruined. The original copy is always on somebody's desk, you know what I'm sure. saying? Great idea. Is that okay with everybody? Okay. So that means a, just a communication when we, when we do install something. Um, okay, so now let's take a look at the um, charts that, uh, the, the spreadsheets that Carl was talking about. And I believe what we'd like to do, Carl, is to find out uh, uh, which things are going to progress with and then who's going to take responsibility for making the connections, talking to the right person, and kind of making sure that this stuff gets done. So there's from the a, committee. There's a lot here. You know, we have, we've, you guys have done um, a, an amazing amount of work on evaluating all our areas. I will say that Kuntz and Ari Johnson have comments from staff to be made yet. Jack Straup, who is the, the facility lead here, um, uh, facility supervisor, is on his honeymoon. So I, ex oh. I expect, um, you know, next week that him and I can sit down and okay. finish these areas. So I can give that update to you um, as soon as it's done. I don't. We don't okay, have to wait so till another we should, meeting. We should probably um, not cover those two. No. I, all I'm saying is that um, as soon as I have the information from Jack and his team, uh, I'll update it. I'll email it to you. Okay. You can send it to the group here. Sure. So whoever's working with R. Johnson knows. Okay. You know. Okay. Who their point of contact is to move forward with a yes item. Okay. 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 Um, right. The consensus overall group is um, uh, staff feels pretty strongly about no's on murals. Just I'm just putting that out piece that, of information out there. That um, terminology was um, used in our our beginning meetings, and then we've kind of backed off of that, but comes up on. <laughs> not, we're not saying that it's an absolute no, but it has to have a real right. a real point of purpose and input put in it, like a, you know, almost like a presentation, if you will, if it was something that right. was so strongly felt that it would benefit, as opposed to accent colors. Accent colors were very well received, as I okay. think you can see in mm -hmm. here. And, um, and I think the biggest thing about accent colors and uh, is continuing this uh, color plan per rec right. center. That was discussed um, by facilities maintenance. And then um, timing. Um, facilities maintenance is interested in providing these changes pretty much right now, starting, you know, when, okay. when as time permits. Um, it just won't happen overnight, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not everything will get done so progressively. We'll hit, right. let's just say, we'll focus on this rec center and or something important at multiple and start making those adjustments. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody has this spreadsheet. So yes, I made a copy for everyone. Can I ask a question? Yes. What When they say mural, what are they thinking of? Because when I see a logo, even you know the, our logo that we have on the outside of a building, is that considered a mural? I would say if it's, like, l let me use a description of the Coons pool area looking at the wood shop, and there's that big blank wall, mm -hmm. and it was suggested that a mural mm -hmm. or a accent color. An accent color is easier to do because it's one big broad paint application, and the maintenance of it is typical to the rest of the building, so every so many years, maybe seven, ten years. But a mural, if it was the colors of our logo, a big a big expansion of this, our logo, it would take a lot of maintenance to make maintain that year after year. Or mm -hmm. um, So if it's large scale, I would call it a mural. OK, so could, like, what's outside Beardsley of, you know, the parking lot there with the, with the clay club made the different mosaic 
big things. Is that considered a mural? I would consider that a piece of art. Okay. All right. That's what I'm. Or an installation. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What the what it's terminology to use. Work. Okay, um, and, I, and I think that um, one thing that um, everyone has to understand is when we use that term, we're just saying, okay, here's a big spot that could use something. And we were just brainstorming. And so I don't think any of us are hung up on exactly what might be at, at that location. But that there's a spot where there could be some form of art. So, um, you know, I guess I would... I mean, the example that Judy's even talking about, we said, you know, if we just had a, a, a leafy tree so that we don't see this, this empty space, that would be an option too. So it's just like, okay, there's an empty spot that needs something. Um, cool. So we're not too locked into all of, of the terminology that's here. So on all four pages of the spreadsheet, I'd like to say, um, Sue, whoever you put together as your teams, you have permission to meet with the facility leads okay. for the yeses of anything that was discussed about furniture moving, moving, uh, further the discussion on furniture purchasing, like um, that that lead would tell you when the what the what the, uh, the budget is coming around for cycle that is. to be replaced. Okay, okay. Um, you have permission to move. Artwork up and down together as a team. So, like whoever you assign to Palm Ridge to adjust artwork, um, David Bennett um, would work with you on that. Okay. And, and if it's larger than just making that adjustment with his staff, then he would schedule an MPS, which is a maintenance problem sheet, a maintenance problem sheet, and then facilities maintenance would would assist. Okay. So that's the process for okay. the. Things that are, let's move this, let's adjust this, and hang it somewhere else mm -hmm. for each rec center. You, uh, I'm going to say that there might be a couple no's in here, mm -hmm. but I don't think so. I didn't think I caught any on it. So, like, again, I use Palm Ridge. If, if well, you, the, the metal shop, you can't move the, the sculpture. Yeah, there, that I was. I mean, that was, a, that, that was a no, but we kind of knew that to begin with. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So those are the permissions across the board on these sheets that um, small teams going directly to a facility supervisor and working to get that accomplished. And then we can check that box and mark and all that work can be done. Okay. Okay. Um, I would say there's only a few comments about landscaping throughout this. Um, you would have to put up put it together a, a small team and have a meeting with Todd Patty on any landscaping discussions, okay? okay. Um, so facilities maintenance or myself will not be involved in any okay. decisions for that, okay? So right. you'd have to draw Todd in to the conversation privately or, okay. or, or even as an invite to hear. Um, I would say the, the majority of things that you would like accent colored Let's start placing teams and put a priority list on it, and let okay. we get we'll start now. You know what I mean? Realistically, sure. um, one and project at a time. And just work at, at it as yep. we can get yep. it done. Okay. Um, I did not get time to do the golf courses, so I saw that. With yeah. respect to everybody's hard work here, I would just I'll try to get to that next week sure. and, and update it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, so. that's fine. We've got enough here to keep us busy, so. But everything else is pretty self-explanatory. So if really, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to give my best answer. OK, so let's go um, to that. Um, any questions on, on Beardsley and his res the responses here? We're starting at Beardsley? Well, that's the first one I stapled together. OK. <laughs> so it's on the top, arbitrary. Uh, we may have covered a lot of this because because this, a lot of this is uh, part of the next project um, uh, for the, um, you know, the capital planning process, so. Okay, how about Palm Ridge? Any questions? So there was nothing to go by on, no questions on Beardsley? Well, I mean, it's, nobody's, we well, haven't read it yet. Okay, I'm sorry. 
Oh, you can't read it. Oh, pass that. Pass the <laughs> magnifying glass down to Nancy. <laughs> And, I, and I'm, I'm, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but take, do your homework at home on this. And, and well, some people had trouble opening it. Okay. You know. um, yeah, and she couldn't, yeah. I couldn't read it. Okay. Yeah, two, two different people have had trouble. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this so is not that, a map. That's what happened, yeah. That's what happened. But. So is the idea because we've, Here, been, we've been divided into teams for our team to kind of um, get a little further in depth in this and make us a, a color board for our uh, facility and we are okay to contact the facility supervisor to ask him when it would be a good time that we could have somebody help us for example free except for uh, the salary that you pay the maintenance people but they're going to be here anyway um, to move things like the yes pictures. so maybe we should go so. to maybe we should go to teams because some of the teams are too small so, you know, you might, I mean, oh, because, do, yeah. yeah, because, uh, for example, Nancy's by herself because, you know, I, I was her partner. So maybe you want to assist on a couple different teams. Oh, And if okay. people want to okay. do that, you know, that, that's fine. So maybe we should do that because then you will focus, you know, more importantly on, on what you've got here. And Judy's by herself now because Susan's gone. And I would assume so, that the, the group or the team that originally walked their facility We'll, we'll do the we'll stick with this like we'll checkbox items of yes common yes. sense moving a piece of art up or down right. a little bit or a replacement of a piece of art right and, and just remember if you did make a comment that um, and I'll use Palm Ridge as an example if the armoire that's in the middle of the lobby if that old artwork that's sitting on those shelves needs to be replaced um, don't come to a facility supervisor and say replace it come with either show up with the art that's been purchased, made, or, right. Correct. you know, yeah. don't yeah. stand there expectantly, you know what I'm saying? Right. So Yeah, right, uh, which is kind of what you were talking about, that you would need to come firm up the ideas right. and before you go to the person, right? if, yeah. it, if it's a, other than just moving something. And I'll be your point of contact for accent colors, so if you... Yeah. You make your color board, then as a group we'll discuss, or with, as a team we'll discuss, um, yep, that color board's good, and then I will help get the staff that needs to paint those areas on a schedule. Okay, so for Beardsley, um, several of us helped Nancy um, the last time. Do you want to, those people want to continue to help her? Jude, who, who is there? Judy, Judy Gilpin, and Candy, and Marilyn. Marilyn, you want to help with Beardsley too? Okay, is your microphone on? Excuse me. Here we go. Are we meeting all summer long? Okay, well, we're going to have to talk about that, too. I don't think that we will meet formally, but that would not impede you from meeting with the facility head to accomplish the tasks that are on this list that they've approved. So we wouldn't have any formal meetings. I think four on a group is probably a little too much. Okay, so you want to draw off of that. Okay, I'm gonna... so if they've got three, that, that's good. Okay, and then Palm Ridge has a short list here. Uh, but Judy? Yeah. Do you think you and I can do the that? The two of you are okay yeah, with the that? the two of us are okay with that. Okay. And um, RH? Okay, so you... 
Okay, so you're kind of pretty much out of it. So somebody want to help Shelly? I'm, I'm leaving in July. Okay, but hmm. so. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Anybody else? And all you really have to do is solve it in the next 30 days of, right. of finalizing decisions because over the next six months, it'll get it, done. It would, you know, let's just say that things would be scheduled, and I would help our group here facilitate that. So, okay, Kuntz, Judy, you're gonna hang in there. Yeah, I'll hang in there. I have a quick question for Carl. Okay, so Carl, if we've um, made some modifications to the original, um, what do you call these suggestions? Should I? get back to you so we can augment this sheet and then yep. before especially since before these people come back if they haven't seen it doesn't matter right correct yeah okay so i can do i'll, I'll contact you then okay yep. and just because, copy sue on everything well we she, talked the, they were the things that we orally talked yeah, well, about she was with so, me yeah yeah the two but copy sue on everything okay okay thanks okay care. so somebody else want to help judy at Kuntz, or should i yeah, i'll do it in a I'm there all the time, or I used to be, anyway. Okay. All right. Um, can we do it all as one? Upper and lower together. Shelley and Kat, and who else? Anybody else want to? Candy, you want to? So you want to be on the whole group thing? We'll work on that. Okay. All right. So I think we have to kind of pull it together on, on, on that. Okay. So my last thing I'd like to just say about this spreadsheet overall and how it is up to date is the art portion. Um, the art portion probably has the least amount of comment or, or no comment from staff um, because we don't know you know, right. what, what you've solved, you know what I mean? Right. Who's, who's donating what, who wants to display right. what. Right, correct, so, and we haven't, because we haven't uh, gotten to that point yet. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking that's, right. that's almost like a next season just yes. as a suggestion. That's right. Um, yeah. In where fact, I can help solve we, the, the like, colorization <laughs> things right now, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. Okay. And like I, I guess I have said a couple of times, I certainly didn't expect this to be into implementation yet. I think it's wonderful that we are, but um, we've covered an awful lot of ground. And um, the working with the clubs and determining what they're gonna, you know, what's gonna be hung where and what type and all of those kinds of deals are, are maybe implementation things that are gonna happen next, next fall because you gotta wait till those clubs come back and you have to have conversations with them and all of those kinds of things. Shelly. Um, I have a question about color continuity throughout the, all the different centers. Does there need to be that? Like if we decide to paint the front of the library purple. <laughs> no, but, you know, the color considerations for some of these, you know, places, do they have to be somewhat alike? Or does it matter? Well, I think you would want to keep them, uh, you know, some continuity at each of the centers. But certainly, they don't need to be um, all exactly the same. And I think you have to kind of work with the colors that are kind of already there. Um, for example, you know, you've got a new Kuntz courtyard. You're, you know, you're going to have to connect with the colors that are there. But that might be totally different from what's happening at Beardsley. Does so, that help? And I would say that. You know, the school of thought from from staff is yes, we we need to kind of stay color consistent here. Mm -hmm. But um, discussing like Palm Ridge, Palm Ridge is our next facility to kind of get a real full repaint. Oh, okay. So if if the time that you know Nancy put into this was put into Palm Ridge, I'm okay. sure that would be accepted. You know, thankfully okay. by staff because we know what work we went through just to find the. Um, the, the color palette for Kuntz, mm -hmm. and um, it was like drawing teeth, you know, pulling teeth. So, sure. um, and we had some, I'll, I'll say that we had a color palette that was almost agreed upon. It had a lot of blues and, mm -hmm. and, 
and grays as opposed to the, the tans. Well, right now it is a it is a gray white palette more than it is tan, even though it right. kind of the sun doesn't always say that. But um, mm -hmm. so it was very close that it could have been very colorful, mm -hmm. and um, so if we put the work in, you know. Yes. Okay. That, that might be a subject for change. Okay, so that facility exterior painting you're talking about mm -hmm. is the next series at Palm Ridge. And then after that, Beardsley? Or not necessarily, but it's the interior pool area out. that's I'm, going on for next year yeah, for, I'm not sure for about Beardsley. Beardsley, so I'll, I'll yeah. find that out. Yeah, okay. But I do believe it's soon. Okay. So. Um. So Alan? if there is furniture to be ordered, who does that? Um, that you would be talking with the facility lead person. Yeah, about it's that. really hard to paint walls and then come in and place furniture. You know, usually you take the color out of the furniture and paint the wall. And <laughs> I think we're doing everything in reverse. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and, we are. And you will be. Yeah. Because that's the way it goes. The yeah. budget for furniture is not on the same timing as being able to make an exterior color improvement of a building. Um, one is a capital budget, which is furniture. It has a life expectancy of more than five years and generally costs more than $5,000. And painting a wall might last more than five years, but it doesn't cost, so that's an operational expense and then a capital expense that has to be, and, and our furniture for the most part is in a, an asset tool that has a useful life, so that furniture is expected to last a minimum of, let's say, 10 years, maybe maybe a little less. It might be, might the furniture might only be warrantied for seven years, so that's what the useful life would probably get set at. So what you're looking for in, in a color board would be, um, three colors that you'd like to stick with or five colors and then um, you would share that with the committee that picks out furniture? Um, what, when is our next meeting? Because I could bring this, the color boards as an example. 25th. Of uh, we, our last meeting is the 25th unless we decide that we're done today. Basically, this is a really good example of like a of a color board that we used for like a coon. So, um, it didn't have the the gradations or the variations in the color as much, but it had the the three. You have a body, you have a pop out, and an accent, generally. And so, you know, this is kind of what how coons came together. So we had just one color, one color, and one color. And then we did it in another color scheme of blues, and then we did another in greens, and the tans and the grays, and the gray ended up winning. So if you came up with three themes, of, you know, something like this, that would be quite helpful. Okay. Right. Um, and by the way, I was in the uh, hot tub in the, at, at um, Coons the other day, and I'm uh, looking at the furniture. There's, I thought, oh, wow, this matches beautifully with the surroundings, uh, the style of the chairs, and I mean, there are just a limited number, of course, in the spa area, but yeah. I thought, boy, that was a real good, real good match. You've got this blue chair and a white frame, and then the gray um, tile was, and kind of went well together. And I'll say that in the, in the commercial furniture purchasing that my goodness, we have a lot to select from. So, okay, great. Especially if the furniture has a fabric associated with it, mm -hmm. like a sunbrella right. style of fabric. Because it gives they, it the color. They have a, a thousand colors to choose from. Okay. You know, it's amazing. So um, I, I do know what you're saying. Like if I'm, you're in the house, this is your couch. A lot of times the room gets decorated to the furniture. But so. Okay, are we kind of clear on what we're going to do? And then uh, my question is, do you feel that we need to have another formal meeting? Or can we just connect informally? Or what are you feeling? So if we come up with our color boards and Carl would like to have them, 
How do we get them to you? Well, that's what I would always say it has to be conducted through a meeting, you know, or. Okay, so maybe we should have another meeting, our last meeting, at the end of the month. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't think we can do it in two weeks or a week. Right. You might not necessarily do it, of course. No. So we don't necessarily need a meeting to well, do that. When you get your <coughs> color board done, you can give it to me and I give it to Carl. Okay. Yeah, could we not do it by yeah. our committee? Or of course. Team? Yeah, we're, we connect with email each other and say, I've got this ready and just connect with me. Okay. Yeah, and, and that could be your basis on prioritization, too, as a group. Yes. So everybody's done their homework. Um, everybody's made their suggestions. I made it pretty clear that it can't be solved in, you know, not everything that's right. being considered for an accent color that got a yes can be done right away. So if you pick your priorities of, right. of rec center and have that color palette, then next season maybe the, the next thing on the list is the Palm Ridges or the Ari Johnsons or the... Does that make sense? Um, yes, and I think that some of our ideas for accent colors, if you have it here, you might not want it over here. And I think when we were walking around, we were saying, oh, you could put it here, or you could put it here. So when you commit, you know, when they, you meet as a committee, you might say, well, you know, these are five, five different places, but we're only going to choose two of these. So, so like, you, you do your common sense uh, decision making based on that. Coons has a color board, so we know we don't have to do that work. Yes. Okay, and that color board has to stay for a while until the... I mean, you can do okay. the work and so, have a color board for the future, I guess. But. Um, Judy was uh, was suggesting that we may do some of those accent spots for the, um, the uh, artwork. Do you have that color board that also has those colors in it, or does it just have the grays? I do. So okay. If, if so that you, would be Either helpful. visit me at the office, and I can... Sure. You can either write down or take a photograph of the color board that we have for Coons. Sure. Um, and then, like, for example, I saw on one of the items the wall on the wood shop. Mm -hmm. You know, then you would have your color board to see, and right. you could say, hey, between this corner and this corner, we would like it this is accent Shakespeare color. Shakespeare or something. Okay. Okay. All right. So am I hearing that we – I'm not sure I've heard whether we should have another formal meeting or not. What are you, what are you feeling? I'm I'm set. <laughs> okay, so you don't need another formal meeting. I don't think so. What about you, Kim? You guys okay? Okay. Oh, all okay. right. No secretary. Okay, so then we will um, officially say that this will be our last formal meeting, but you can connect with me, and I'll connect with Carl, and we'll send out the additional progress updates stuff, on, progress okay. updates. We'll you know we'll kind of communicate um, uh, via the net. And then in terms of next year, um, I'm thinking that we will uh, continue to establish this committee and, and hopefully the uh, rest of the board will agree. And if that doesn't happen, we'll have some format. We'll maybe be a council or an advisory group or we may remain a board committee. Um, some of the goals that I hope we would look forward to next year would be to kind of continue to refine our ideas uh, to continue to work with the clubs and uh, for, the, for the displays, um, making connections with, um, with the staff as we've lined up, uh, do the record keeping on, that, on the uh, uh, spreadsheet that Carl has started, um, continue with the color boards if we don't get them done this summer, and uh, then address some of the issues at the golf courses and um, Maybe implement maybe at least one community art project, something during during the time period. Um, so, what will happen after this this uh, event? Um, you will you will be um, asked to fill out a survey on the committee, and after you fill out the survey, it leads you to uh, applying again for next year. And I hope that you are. And um, if you can get, if you have other people that you want to encourage to, to um, sign up, just have them fill out that online survey. And then the committee will be formed and, and probably have a meeting probably at the end of September or something like that for the first meeting. But um, um, we'll choose members and, and continue, continue our good work. 
So are there any other things for the good of the group? Group, please reach out to me. So I'm always available by email. Please just copy Sue on your questions. Mm -hmm. And um, I look forward to getting some of these things on the list done. Okay. Do we have audience questions? Katie or? You do have a comment someone posted on YouTube about the lizard um, discussion. Pamela Chumbly really liked the concept. She preferred the vi vibrant colors rather than a beige and said, um, let the creator of the lizards decide it's her concept. So it's more input than a question. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Pam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Anything else for the good of the order here? Well, thank you very much for doing so much work in two months. It's absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I'm, I'm just so pleased. So we'll, and we'll be in touch all summer. OK, do we have an answer from, from Bill? Oh, we're good for it. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. OK. Or whenever. Right, whenever you can get there tomorrow. For those of you that were able to um, to commit to that, okay, onward and upward. <laughs> okay, I, at this point, then I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you very much. How many folks are coming? To